The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media, Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website. Let's get right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast where we talk about stuff for web designers. Oftentimes here at Mustard Seed, we'll have clients come to us and they'll want to achieve a particular thing on their website. So we'll go out to Drupal.org because, of course, we build using the Drupal content management system. And we'll look for that functionality to see if it already exists. And and most of the time what happens is if a piece of it may exist or some of it may exist or I might have to put together three or four different modules to make something happen. Usability might be bad. Uh, just user experience might be bad. All these things might uh, not be ideal situations for what we want to do. So we'll get to a point where we go, you know what? Let's just build it. Let's just make it happen. Uh, and, and we especially do that when we have many clients over and over and over again come to us and want the same thing. Finally, we'll just uh, get, get some money together uh, from maybe from multiple clients and we'll have something developed. What we're going to talk about today is a situation exactly like that. Uh, we're going to talk about Views Rotator Module. It is a module which takes images or text or anything else you could possibly dream of and does a nice little JavaScript rotator on it with some uh, fading in between items and, uh, you know, uh, just a pretty, a pretty standard JavaScript rotator. But the big thing is we wanted it to work with views. Uh, a few weeks ago, we talked about views too. Views is the future of Drupal. So we wanted our JavaScript rotator to take anything that views could spit out and rotate it. So that's what we did is we commissioned one of our port partner developers, Innovating Tomorrow, to develop this module for us. And that's what I'm going to demo today. And I think it's a really, really great solution for Drupal and uh, a JavaScript rotator. So let's dive right into it. What we're looking at here right now is the Views Rotator homepage. Uh, you'll notice that as we do this, uh, we're still in uh, the, the sort of the dev version stage. Uh, everything in the, this module uh, isn't perfect. Uh, you're going to see possibly a couple little things as I demo this uh, that are going to be fixed before a final update. Uh, we also backported it to five. Uh, the reality is Views 2 has a lot of really great interface stuff that Views 1 and Drupal 5 could not do. So we backported it to 5, although you need to do some back-end hacking a little bit in your template.php to uh, make it do what you want it to do. Uh, but we're going to demo the 6 version today, which has a lot of really nice interface stuff. So let's go ahead and build a homepage rotator for our website. Very first thing I did, of course, was install CCK, because the important thing is that we can rotate anything... Uh, that is a CCK content type or any content type. That, that's kind of the idea. We didn't want to be limited to a preset content type. That's what a lot of rotator modules out there do. Um, so instead, I went ahead and just defined a content type. Uh, you'll see it's just got a title. It's got a place to upload an image. Now remember, this doesn't have to be an image. I'm going to use that as an example. But you could rotate news headlines. You can rotate absolutely anything. It doesn't need to be an image. Um, I'm just using IMCE image, uh, image field module. Um, and that's it. That's all we're going to have in our content type. Let's go ahead and create one. I'm just going to call it test image. I'm going to upload an image through IMCE. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose it and I'm going to submit that. Let's go back and do another one. I'm going to have two just so we can see that they're both working. And we'll upload, and we're good to go. So now we've got two of these, uh, basically two of these nodes uh, from this content type that are pretty much just images. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate through those. So next thing we're going to do is go to our uh, modules menu. And of course, we've downloaded and uh, dropped the views rotator module into our modules list. So if we go all the way down to the bottom, we will see views rotator. Let's just enable it. And once this is enabled, what we'll do is we'll go to our Views menu and we'll create a new view. So I'm going to create a view. I'm just going to call it Home Rotator. I'm 
Uh, we're just going to use the node type because that's what we're going to rotate. Uh, now let's set up just some, some basic settings. Uh, filters, let's go ahead and make it so anything published will show up. And let's make sure it's just our type that we just created. So we're going to choose home page rotator. Uh, we're going to we're going to say display 10 items, but because we're going to rotate them, that's just the number of items that is made accessible to the rotator. Obviously, the rotator is only going to show one item at a time. Uh, let's go ahead and look at fields. The only field we want to display in here is going to be that IMCE image field. So let's add that. And we're going to update it. Now, here comes the views rotator part. For style, instead of unformatted, we are going to choose views rotator. And when I hit update and look at this, now we've got some cool options. We can set the time that the uh, image is up there before it rotates, sort of the time in between. We can set the transition time. We can make it pause when the mouse rolls over the area. Uh, which is great if you're going to set it up somehow so maybe you want to make your images clickable so they uh, go somewhere else on the site, you can do that. You can display back and next buttons so somebody can automatically uh, uh, sort of or manually uh, go ahead and switch between images. Height of container. This is one of those things that since we're still in the dev version, auto does not work very well. We're going to go ahead and set the actual height of the container um, so everything works properly. Uh, hopefully in the final release you could just be able to leave it at auto and it'll detect that. But let's update that. And uh, we're pretty much done. Uh, let me let me add a block so we can actually uh, place it as a block. So I'll name my block and I'll save it. Now let's just go to the blocks menu. And on the blocks menu we will find our rotator. We're just going to set it in that content top region. I'm going to save it. And now let's check out our home page. And you'll see that it is now working. And there you go. It is now rotating. Setting up a JavaScript rotator using Views uh, Rotator is just that easy. Uh, that was one of the requirements when we built the module. We said, look, you good user experience, easy to set up. Very simple operation is the key to this, not to mention making it Views 2 compatible, uh, which to me just means everything because that means you can rotate absolutely anything you can put into Views. Uh, so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoy Views Rotator. Watch for the official release, but the dev release is pretty much usable now. So uh, just go ahead and download it, play with it, and hopefully it helps you out. Uh, don't forget to check out my other podcast at geeksandgod.com. Uh, until next week, bye-bye.